guys, this is the Jack one. This is a video review of Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Cyberverse Commander Class Sabotage Special uh, uh, Specialist Starscream. Got this um uh, I think last week. Forgot one, but um at Shopco I was yeah, I just saw him and I had to pick him up, so um he is a repaint slash retool of the original Transformers Prime Cyberverse uh Starscream, so but yeah, let's take a look at the packaging. He comes with a Thunder Talon, which is that thing right there. There he is in his jet mode. Starscream Sabotage Specialist. Blah, that, I said that could be weird, but anyways. There is Starscream in his robot mode. Uh, tech specs. But you can't read that. It's 8, 7, 9, 6, 9, 3, 9, 10. And you know the order. Since my camera is still acting up. so And on the back, there is Starscream in robot mode. Fighter Jet Mode, Decepticon Alliance, Cyberverse Commander World, um, I'll just read this for you since you guys can't. The Devious Story Scream dives out of the sky to destroy un unsuspecting Autobot enemy, uh, enemies. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, he is Commander Class Series 306. Um, so, but yeah, that's basically it about the packaging. So let's get this guy open and see how cool he actually is. Okay, here we have Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Cyberverse Commander Class Sabotage Specialist uh, Starscream in his vehicle mode, which is actually a really nice jet, um, despite you can see his feet sticking out. But we've seen that with most of um, Transformers Prime Starscream figures. So, but... Um, yeah, you can also see his hands, and but at least you can't see his head, like the Voyager, um, but you can still see his chest, like in each representation of his um, mold. But yeah, nice jet. Here is the Thunder Talon, which is just two pieces of red plastic, which have nice details on them, as you can see. So, and it just has a pressure ball, so you can just... Like that, so. And to sort in vehicle mode, you have two tabs or two holes on the underside of the wings. So if you get another one, you can um, have them stocked up with two thunder talons, like that. So if somebody has one and they're just, uh, ugh, if somebody has the uh, thunder talon, yeah, well, I might want another one, so. But he is a nice uh, gray, uh, goldish, um, some dark gray throughout the jet, and mostly red um, repaint of the original Cyberverse uh, Starscream. So, he is nice. I do like him. And I would have the original Starscream to c compare him with, but I forgot. Oh, I don't have him. So, but yeah. So you could just take them to out. Thunder Talon and put it to the side in a transform or transform him. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, basically, you want to take the wings, just fold them down like this. Want to get the feet out like that. Yeah, popping off the entire leg while you do that. Um, just like that. You just want to angle the wings out like this. I want to take the cockpit piece and bring it forward like that so you can see his head right in there. So which also kind of looks like the Beast Hunter's Voyager but uh, yeah it didn't split the cockpit bring the arms down and like that. I think in package or unless it was just me I think it was just me um but yeah, you should come like this. You can bring the arm out like that by untabbing it because there is a small tab that is connected to his arm that will hold it in. So it's right in there. You just got to make sure to put it back in. While you're transforming him, pull up his head. Then you can angle the wings any way you want. Which I might do it like that. And there is Starscream in robot mode. Oh, one more thing. Bring up the little um, 
tail section. So there he is in robot mode. Just a quick comparison with the first or Transformers Prime first edition Starscream. To plug his weapon in his robot mode, there's basically a million ports to plug it in. Um, no, like back storage unless you want to angle the wing out. But anyways, um, as um, forearm. So if you like, I said if you get another one, he could be like the first edition to where he has the missiles on his shoulders, and now he has a thunder tail on his or forearms. Um, so you can do it like that, or this is what I'll most likely do. Um, you can put it in his hand like that, and he can shoot the Autobots with the Thunder Talon. So, yeah, he is nice. I do like him. Um, articulation, basically, you can unpeg this for now. Uh, I guess you can count his little yes. Since that's mostly for transformation. He has ball jointed shoulders. Um, you can angle the wings any way you want. You can go in and out like this. Uh, I, that's uh, like below the shoulder joint right there. Got the elbow. And you can, yeah. Uh, no waist, uh, but it kind of makes up with uh, ball jointed hips. Got knees. Um, which I actually might paint as a. Uh, like touch up the knee spikes with some, and for some reason his feet can, yeah, turn. I think it's like for more better poses or something. But the go-go boots are still go-go-ish. So, so there is Starscream. Just get him up and up real quick, like that. So this has been the review of Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Cyberverse Commander Class Starscream. Really cool figure. I will get it if you don't have the original Cyberverse. And it is a great addition to your Cyberverse collection. So you can get this guy on BigBedToyStore.com. Uh, go follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll leave all the links to that down below. Uh, please comment or subscribe and to for more reviews, hauls, vlogs, unboxings, and all that good stuff. Um, so that just about does it for me the jackal so I will see you guys later